Hey guys, it's Todd here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a little piece of, a little bit of ancient technology. It's a cassette tape player, a mini cassette tape player. This one is a dictaphone. And what, if you're one, if you seriously don't know what a cassette is, I'm going to be worried. This is a mini cassette here. Yeah, that's right. I have older technology in my house, believe it or not. Not a lot of it. This is the only mini cassette player I have. Now you're thinking, are cassettes bigger than that? Yeah, usually cassettes are are this big, actually. So you need like a separate cassette player that plays. These are just called cassettes. The one I just showed in here, that's a mini cassette. So yeah, these are cassettes I have. Well, a few of them at my house, at least. I know my grandma has like 200 cassette tapes. So if I want some, I can just go there, get like 200 of them. But, yeah, just for now, I'm going to be showing you some mini cassette tapes. As you can see, like these here, mini cassettes, all of these. Yeah, I'm only, I'm only going to be using the one that's already in my dictaphone. I'm not going to be using all those other ones, just this one. So, yeah, this is for all you youngsters who don't know. Yeah, cassette tapes were used to play music back in, like, the... Uh, I'm pretty sure cassette tapes were made in the late 60s. So it was like somewhere between like the 60s, late 60s to probably the 90s cassette tapes were used. And then during the early 2000s, uh, production massively dropped for cassette tapes. So that was that. And then other stuff like uh, CDs came out, stuff like that. And then music started becoming more digital. So that's why you don't see these much anymore. If you, for those of you who don't know, cassette tapes are still being made, but it's only like a few certain companies that still make them, so that they're very, like, in low production. <laughs> but yeah, so again, there are two cassette tapes. There's like the normal one, then there's this mini cassette. These ones were used in voice processors, as you can see, voice processors like these, like this dictaphone, for example, just to record stuff. So it's not actually that hard to use. There's actually words on the side to show you how to use it, so it's going to make my job a lot easier. But, yeah, I'm going to be showing you, like, every part about it, including the volume and how to change the batteries. So for those who don't know, most mini cassette tapes can hold... Most of them are just either a total 30 minutes or a total 60 minutes, and each side is split in half, which means you can record... my All of my mini cassette tapes, they record 30 minutes in total, so... Each side of my records 15 minutes because you actually have to flip the cassette tape and put on the other side to start recording another 15 minutes or 30 minutes depending on if you get like a 60 minute mini cassette. But most of them are 30 minute cassette tapes. So I guess start off. If you want to take the top off here to get into the cassette or the batteries which are down here. And just so you know this is where the speaker comes out. But yeah I'm going to start off by showing... You kind of just slide this down, like grab the side of this, as you can see right here. Just slide it down. It's going to click around here to allow you to take out the cassette tape. So what you take, so if you already have one in, all you got to do to take it out is kind of just grab the top of it. Just put like a, it doesn't take much pressure at all. Just put the tightest pressure on, and there you go. You got it out. So most cassette tapes will probably have like a number on like this is side one, this is side two, or side A and B. I mean, not all of them are going to have numbers on. Some of them will just have, say, like, side and they're, like, blank spot to write whatever you want to write in that little blank spot. So, like, 1, 2, A, B, whatever. To put it back in, what you got to do is you kind of just slide it down just a little bit. It's better when I actually look at it than the camera. But just kind of slide it down. So then the spools are all in the correct spots. Then just push it in. There. It's all good to go. And, of course, all you got to do to get to the other side flip it. I shouldn't have to tell you that. That seems pretty simple. Now, if you're going to flip it, just so you know, with the cassette tapes, you're going to have to reverse the whole side. Because once you played like one side and you flip it, you're going to have to reverse it for a minute or two. That's how long it takes for these mini cassettes. It takes like a minute or two to reverse it fully. So you'd have to do that and then put it on play to start listening to the beginning. Because otherwise, if you quit play now, the spool is all of it is like right here so it's not going to play because it's at the end 
So I'm just going to put it back on side one where it is at the beginning. And then if you want to just like take this all the way off, then it shows, as you can see, two AAA batteries. This is what this takes. There's this little strap right here, as you can see here, a little strap. So you can just like gently like pull it up and then it allows you to take the batteries out and then push up a little more for the second one. And then there you go, you got both of the AAA batteries out. So, leave this, like, you can lift it up, it shows which way to put the batteries in, in this little spot, as you can see here. So, leave, don't, like, put this up, and then put the batteries in, because otherwise, this would have no use, because it would be about the batteries, you can't pull it out. So make sure it's in when you're putting the batteries in, so I'm just going to put these in, I'm going to look in here, it's going to tell me, which side I got to put the batteries in. So first I'm going to put this one in. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to put this one in. And now they're all back in. It's all fully functional. I can pull this again if I want. You can slide this on the same way you took it off. There you go. So that's back on. So that's how to change the cassette and the batteries. So now on the actual side here, this is like the slider. So there's four options up here for a slider there's record stop play and then rewind so if you want to record you just put it up just so you know the mic is right here so once you're ready to record there's going to be the mic is right here it's like this little opening then this record you push this up and it just leaves it up so now it is recording i am talking to the mic right now so my voice is probably gonna be super loud and then to stop recording push it down just one it goes back to stop as you can see right there it's on stop so then to play it you just push it down one down to play so i'm gonna have to reverse it first because i just recorded so you there's all the way down here you gotta hold your finger on the reverse actually if you just leave it see it just went to play as soon as i took my finger off it so now it is recording i am talking to the mic right now so my voice is probably gonna be super loud and then to stop recording. There. So that was my voice recorded. So again. There. I can do that. And then there's also this lock option right here. So if you. It's kind of like when you're putting your. For all you iPhone users. That little slider. Like when you put your phone inside. Well that's literally what. That's like what this is. It's like the, the exact same slider. But that's not what it's used for obviously. If you put it on lock here. You can't move the slider. Like. See, as you can see, I'm moving my thumb on it. It is not moving. As soon as I take this off, it can move again. See? So then, once you're playing it, there's this button here. That's fast forward. So once you do that, you sound like Elvin and the Chipmunk. So listen here. Now it is recording. I am talking to the mic right now, so my voice is probably going to be super loud. And then it's not recording. See? That was easy. <laughs> so if you're trying to get to somewhere on the cassette quickly, just... Hold down this fast forward button, you'll get there. So this last part, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else to it, so... There's this little... I've never dealt with this, but it says DC 3 volts for anyone who's technical with that, but I've never had to use that. So there's this volume option on the side here, so the plus button's on the bottom, then the minus button's on the top, so if you want it louder go all the way down what you were listening to right just now was as loud as it goes it doesn't go very loud so yeah this is actually as loud as it gets right here it doesn't get very loud so if i just mess with the volume so my voice is probably gonna be super loud and then to stop recording see then you can actually i have it all the way on silent now so I mean, you could play, like, in the background, turn the volume all the way off. You're waiting for the cassette tape to get to where it is. I mean, you could also hold down the fast-forward button to get to where you want it to go. So I'm just going to turn this back up. And that's pretty much the voice processor, so... I mean, this... I mean, these cassette tapes are just what Nixon used to bug the voice, so... <laughs> yeah, stuff like this. So you, it actually gets pretty good quality, like... Yeah, I'm going to put this in my pocket... And then I'm going to turn the record button on, just so you guys hear. And I'm going to have the, the mic end sticking that's on my pocket. So if you're moving around, 
Of course, all the pocket material is going to be rubbing against the mic, making it hard to hear. So if you're going to use this to secretly record, then you should try to stay still as much as possible. So there, it's on now. I have a recording. I'm just going to record for a few seconds just to show. And now I'm going to turn it off in a second once I turn it. There we go. So now I'm going to reverse it. There, it's on now. I have a recording. I'm just going to record for a few seconds just to show. And now I'm going to turn it off in a second once I turn it. So there, as you can see, it actually did. You could hear my voice pretty clearly. Like, you could tell what I was saying. So you can test around with this if you have one of these. Put it around your room. Try to hide it, because remember, if you're recording, you want to, it's going to show this, it's going to be red, so you're going to have to try to hide that. Just try to hide the recorder in general. Just test around where you can put this if you're trying to re secretly record stuff. And, oh, and it can, if you want to record phone calls with it, I did that yesterday just to see how it worked. And it worked pretty well, actually. I did have the phone on speaker, though, so, I mean, if it's going to be... A non-speaker call then it'd be weird just have your phone to here and then just be like <laughs> like just turn your phone and speak here but yeah that is my dictaphone voice processor now you guys if you have some sort of voice processor of your own cassette mini cassette player you should know how to use it because most of them are going to be very similar to this so most of them will probably have like the same features on the side here i assume because i don't know what else the other ones would or wouldn't have. So, yeah. Nobody is going to get this cassette tape from me. These are mine. All of these cassette tapes. I'm I'm talking about the mini ones and the normal ones. So, oh, and you got to make sure sometimes you can put it on wrong. So, if it, like, if you put it on wrong, and it's like, I'm trying to purposely put it on wrong right now, but, no, I guess not. But if it, if you start pushing it on, and it's kind of like hard and resisting, you didn't put it on right, so immediately just take it off, because it should, once you get it on correctly, so like here right now, actually, I put it on wrong, so it's like hard to move, so I'm going to take it back out, then correct it, so now it's on, it moves super easy once you get it on correctly, so that's just a side note you should know, because Otherwise, you could, you're probably going to get it stuck and have to use some sort of tool to just, like, get it off and hopefully not break anything. So, you should know that. But otherwise... Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you all for watching. Get this video like it. Go subscribe for much more. Comments I don't ignore. And post notifications.